pull at our heartstrings. We see the pleas on Facebook and hear their stories on the news. What kind of milk would you like? Sometimes we just want to be part of something cool. Take Clover Coffee in Huntsville, Alabama. This cold brew idea had everyone buzzing. There was a lot of local people, but I had uh, people from all over the world, uh, Japan, uh, Australia. Shannon King's business took off after she started her campaign on Kickstarter. It was overwhelming to see the support that came from everywhere. And it actually got picked as a project of the day. Which made her initial goal of $7,500 blossom to 10,000 bucks. Now Shannon has a new roaster and a taste of sweet success. A crowdfunding campaign at its finest. You can help donate to a needy person. You can help donate for a, an idea, an exciting event that you want to donate to. But there are some downfalls to that. Jennifer Vanderweer is president of F1 Solutions. Her business is all about online security and pinpointing vulnerabilities. We have to realize this is very ungoverned area. Um, you are donating. You are not investing. You are not in buying a share of a company. The top three crowdfunding sites making magic, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and GoFundMe all have different requirements, different risk, some looser than others. One concern, copycat campaigns. Take baby Noah. He needs a heart transplant, but money raised was hijacked by a man who solicited funds for the family and never delivered the $6,500. GoFundMe, gone bad. So the best thing that you can do is to make sure you properly vet that concept and idea and make sure that it's something that you really feel passionate about and you're willing to do that risk. Because it's a gamble, whether you're an indie artist, a family needing help, or someone that just loves to make coffee. I wouldn't be surprised if I'll be doing another Kickstarter for a bigger roaster in the next year or so.